Ed Sector, right as this book was going into uh, page proof, Ed Sector came out with a really stunning little paper, I think, on income contingent lending. And uh, that's an old idea. I mean, some of you are, may remember way back in the 60s, there was a Zacharias plan for a national student loan bank. That didn't go anywhere because we had already committed to using commercial banks and state guarantee agencies. We had an institutional structure in place. But people, I remember Bob Reichauer when I was at Brookings sitting down and trying to work out a plan for a fully income contingent loan program with repayments totally based on, <coughs> on income. But for that to work effectively, you gotta have the IRS in the collection business. And they weren't about to get in the collection business. And you can't have commercial banks issuing money because they're not gonna go for these weird repayment screams. So most of us who would love those ideas in the old days sort of took them off the burner. They were just nice but irrelevant. All of a sudden, you know, Bob Sharman and company and Obama come in and they blow out the banks. So now we got direct lending, you know, so the, 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 you know, that part of the problem is gone. Uh, IRS is starting to show some signs of getting into the business. You can now populate your FAFSA with a you know, load from the IRS. If you've got federally initiated money going out as the source of, of loans, there's every reason to think the IRS is a perfectly appropriate device to collect that money back. Uh, so here comes out this little paper from Ed Sector that just sort of woke us all up, you know, that this is really, the world has changed. We can go back to these, in a sense, old ideas, which we gave up on, and now they're viable again. There's another fascinating piece, and I'd love some comment from some of the association folks, because I thought to me it was one of the clincher pieces in this little essay, which was get the universities to put some skin in the game. Let them have a sinking fund to have to repay defaults on their own kids. When they, you know, if there's a default rate of a percent, you know, in the, in the, you know, in the past, the institutions are off scot-free. They got the money. Look at the for profits are running away with this to the bank. I mean, let them have a major place to pay for their own defaults, uh, you know, of their own students. I think that's a, a, a real, <coughs> I mean, that, 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 a lot of, there are a lot of problems with this problem. Anyway, that paper came out just as this thing was in page proof. So I said, we've got to get that in there. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, you can't add a footnote because we've got the footnotes all set. <laughs> and so there's this little tiny two paragraphs in the, in the book without identifying the sector, because that would have been a footnote. So you, <laughs> you, lost, <laughs> you lost out to the press. And, uh, but nonetheless, it's your idea, and you should get credit for it. I, we're, we're continuing to explore this as, 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 as probably the most important, I think it's the most important and most conceivable, conceivably viable way to keep this system going, given what is happening in the world with state aid and so forth. Anyway, we talked about that, and we talked about, uh, we have a number of other modest reform proposals. I'm not going to bore you with them. Now you can all run out and buy the book and read them. Uh, <laughs> my main point is, though, that there is no one single, I mean, if I had if I had to do all over again, I would stress this thing <coughs> contingent, fully income contingent, fully federalized system, which I think is in, in, in reach now, and uh, and maybe the, maybe the only way we're ever going to be able to uh, to solve these problems.